Today I'm here to review this 5x5 five five closure wig that I got from Mega Look Hair. You guys, honestly, this is my first time doing like a flip over method with the closure wig. I always thought like, you know, it would be just best to do like one designated part just because anything else just would look so like unrealistic. But surprisingly, this hair is like eating. I was still able to do the same baby hairs that I normally do with the frontal, but it was like half the work. That's why I like five by fives. It's like half the work, but you know, surprisingly, it still eats um, the lace. I'll get up close so you guys can see. It melted beautifully. I didn't have to do too much or even use glue to get it to lay down. And it's only right here and right here. And that's it. Like the flip over method, um, definitely did what needed to do like it's giving beach waves i don't know if you guys can see the hair it is 24 inches i believe it's 150 density because it isn't as thick as i would like it to be but it's still very cute like it's nice and simple i am going on a vacation so i had to wake up super duper early just to like pop this wig on so i can go and it actually took me like i want to say 30 to 30 minutes to 40 minutes max to install it i always recommend that you prep the wig before you install it on your head and what i did to prep it is i just bleached the knots and then after that i just plugged the wig and it was like a standard plug like those are standard things so i didn't include it in this video if you guys want me to include how i do that let me know and i'll record it for the next video but usually like everybody kind of does the same type of plucking i did kind of over pluck this wig which i think says speaks a lot for like the lace because i did over pluck but it still looks really good so take that how you will if you guys want to get this look <laughs> continue watching bye hey you guys thanks for continuing to watch so right now this is me showing you guys how the wig looks i already washed it put some boost in it and plucked it before i am showing you guys what it looks like and of course you know i'm gonna go away with my handy dandy even lace tint just to get the lace to match my skin color Now I'm going to go in with three layers of my even adhesive and make sure it's like nice and tacky and just stick the lace right into it. But before I do that, I am going to cut off the little tabs that you guys see on the sides. I saw another girl do it and her install came out of fire with the 5x5 five five, so I just cut, off, cut them off before I laid the lace into it. And I think it helped. So after I let that sit for about like 10 minutes, I am going in and cutting off the lace. I'm using a razor because I do find that works out a little bit better for the initial cut. It makes it look a lot more realistic. And after that, I'm just going to go in with my spritz spray. Spray on the lace just so I can get it real melted and just tie the elastic band on as quickly as possible. I'm 
After that, you're just gonna wanna go in with a hot comb and just press out anything that looks a little bit crazy or that you want to lay a lot flatter. Now I'm just going to spray some water mixed with some regular VO5 conditioner just all around the hair. This hair is going to need a lot of conditioner and water so if you purchase it I recommend you get that or have like a spray bottle for that because it needs a lot of moisture just to help maintain the curls and have it looking nice and right for the whole day. This lace was the saline grace for this wig. It blended so beautifully. But I just went in with a little bit of my powder foundation around the hairline. Even though it didn't really need it. And now I'm just going to section out my baby hairs. And I was actually surprised because I was able to do my baby hairs. How I normally do it with the frontal. So yeah, that was popping. After I curl the baby hairs with a pencil straighten iron, I'm just going to go in with some black got to be glue and I'm just going to slick my baby hairs with the toothbrush into the style that I like it to look. And that is pretty much it. Um, if you guys watched it all the way through, you already know I love you times 10. If you guys have any recommendations or anything that you guys want to see me do or try out, drop it in the comment section. I'm definitely open to any suggestions. And I have some vlogs coming up. Well, a vlog because I did go to Canada like I said earlier in this video. So when I drop that vlog and that vlogging channel, I definitely will put you guys on first. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye.
please and you call, she can't even pay me enough to react. Been waking up in the crib, but sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Please don't pay that nigga songs in this party, I can't even listen to that.